What's up, YouTube? I'm King Shanks, and this is Droids Finest, and I am back with Shadowrun Returns. Not sure of the part. 60... 65. 65? 65! What the hell? I'm doing two tonight. And, ugh, look at this. Look at this Kefka-looking son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Oh, you look just like Kefka. Ugh. You're fucking hideous. You bastard. Blew up Final Fantasy. Okay, let's get over. <clears throat> Lady and gentlemen, this is Bitch Garf. She is the troll who saved my daughter and the only one who has faced our common enemy in combat. Her Brachas. What does the representative of the great dragon, Lurfri? have to tell us about the magical insect shadow this shadow runner uncovered okay wow oh <laughs> nice mutton chops bud Ugh. brachish speaks slowly with a deep melodious german accent oh yeah okay oh my eyes are burning I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was something at work. My eyes are just on fire right now. Okay, in a German accent. He takes his time accentuating each word, relishing each vowel and each continent, or consonant, consonant, consonant. Okay. Tasting them as if he they were a delicacy. Ugh. Hans, my lord Lefroy has witnessed the insect spirit's physical manifestation before roughly 9,000 years ago. As you are aware, magic ebbs and flows, Fl oh, magic ebbs and flow, und, und flow, okay, und flow from the earth. Cycling from peak to peak over the course of 5,200 years as the level of magic grows. Das. Ugh. Oh, God. <laughs> Just like Kefka. Oh, but his name... Its name is Harley Quinn. I don't know if it's... Yeah, I think it's a guy. Anyways, Hans, dear, I love you, but... You could babble on forever and believe time, and I believe time is of the essence. The painted elf addresses you. Bitchgarf, is it? Delighted to, delighted. The bug you fought was not merely a magical, awakened animal, like a wavern, or a hydra, or anything else in the sixth worlds. Sixth world, sorry. In fact, it isn't this world at all. It's the physical embodiment of an insect spirit from another plane of existence. Well, that's a lot to take in. Okay. I imagine that moving from one plane of existence to another isn't easy. Probably not. Before you go on, I've got to ask, who the hell are you and why are you dressed like that? Is that why I couldn't kill it? Who the hell are you? Excellent question. One I've asked myself many times. Where? Okay. Okay, Harley Quinn. You can leave me alone now. I have one of your comics right, right over there. Right to this side. Right, right there. Harley Quinn. Okay. Now, an insect spirit can't simply thumb a ride through astral space and show up on Earth late for dinner. Dinner, in that case, being us. Two elements are required to bring one across the void, a shaman and a host. First, the spirit calls upon the shaman. Often in dreams, the spirit seduces the shaman with promises of great power. The shaman then accepts the spirit as his totem. Next, the insect spirit requires a suitable host. Is that what the doctor in the seamstress union did? With that little demon thing on her shoulder? I guess so. I mean, that's probably the only way that it can be done, right? 
The best candidates are the disaffected and disenfranchised. In short, the weak-willed, their minds are more sus susceptible to suggestion, which is helpful in making the transformation as you um, as you may imagine, these are the sort of people easily attracted to a cult such as the Universal Brotherhood. Yes, I would imagine. Finally, by performing what has to be a truly disgusting ritual, the shaman serving the insect totem implants the spirit into the host, willingly or not. It's then feeding time. You are one weird son of a bitch. I like your hair, though. Har Li Quinn is correct. The insect spirit will then slowly consume its host while transforming it into the spirit's own insectoid body, thus manifesting itself fully on this plane. Wow. What's this have to do with a great dragon? And an elf that look, <laughs> who looks like cosmetics. Okay, Wiz, bugs from another dimension. We need. Oh, bugs from another dimension need killing. I get it. I don't like the sound of this. What does a great dragon have to do with this? Funny kid, but it's no laughing matter. This is bigger than hunting down. An insect shaman are putting a few 9mm rounds into a bug. Sure it is. The initial bugs prepare <coughs> a nest for summoning of a queen. Once the nest has its queen, she literally explodes with newly manifested, manifested insect spirits. They swarm out of the nest, feeding on all the flesh they can find and implant planting more insect spirits into the flesh, into fresh corpses, again and again and again. Okay. The room falls silent as they all consider the scenario faces, as they all consider the scenario faces grim. That makes no sense. Talisman breaks the silence. Yeah, hold on. I gotta read that one more time. I, I thought I was reading it wrong, but it's, I'm not reading it wrong. The room falls silent as they all consider the scenario faces grim. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say they face is grim, but whatever. Telestrian breaks the silence. This is not an infestation, bitch garf. It's an invasion. <gasps> okay. My lord Lerfrey knew this day would come. But he did not know precisely when nor where. Your rescue of Mr. Telestrain's daughter has exposed the existence of an insect spirit for the first time in this cycle of the world. Then why don't you just fire a cruise missile at it, or at the Brotherhood and call it a day? So you're early to the party this time. That gives you an upper hand, right? So why don't we nuke him? You half engaged the enemy, you know why. The insect spirit's spirit is only a resident in the transformed host body. Conventional weapons can hurt the body and expose the spirit, but the spirit itself exists on two planes. It cannot be destroyed by Monday means, hence Project Igus. Do I need to travel across a plane now? Is that what's happening? Her Telestrian's biotechnology and agricultural divisions worked with my lord Lerfrier. I think it's Lofweir, but I'm not sure. Thuma Tumagir. What the hell word is that? I've never heard of this word. Okay. Thaumaturgical. Sure. Big words make more sense. Why not? Engineers and, and design projects. Uh, engineers and design projects. Project A guys. To destroy an insect spirit once it is re released from its host. The formula 
a flowering astral bacteria strain exists in the physical and astral plane at once, and it can thus affect the insect spirit. I don't understand a goddamn word that this fucker just said. I don't like him or his mutton chops or his yellow eyes or his weird nose. Fuck. Who talks like that? Seriously. Man. So many, like, ugh. Ugh, oh, man. I don't understand any of it. I don't know what it means. I mean, I get the gist of it. Apparently, the eyegeist can attack their physical form and their other form while their other form is still on the other, or in the other dimension, or whatever. I get it. But I don't understand half of the words that he used to explain it to me. Ugh. Now that was a mouthful. Yeah, see? Kefka agrees with me. Did you memorize it, or are you reading it off of index cards? My director and R&D, Diane Ravenwood, will explain how Project Aegis will be used in the field. Dr. Ravenhood? Wow, oh, she looks like Halle Berry with pointy ears. Hello, Halle. Our weapon specialists have rapidly prototyped a delivery device for the fluorescing astral bacteria strain. Man, uh, I'm just going to skip the fluorescing astral bacteria strain. I'm just going to call it bitchfuck. Or, no, that's too close to my name in the game. Uh... We'll just call it some stupid shit that I don't want to read again. They've created a prototype. They've created some prototype launchers which fire Aegis filled shells. When fired, the shells will discharge a high velocity stream of the bacteria. Cool. In order to destroy one of the bugs, you must first be damaged. Oh, it must first be damaged using conventional weapons or magic until. The spirit is released from the host body. Then the insect spirit must be shot with the project, I guess, prototype launcher to destroy it. Good, she didn't say that flourishing astral blah, of crap again. In order to stop an invasion of insects from another dimension, a dragon and an elf co-created a magical insecticide. Yeah, that's pretty much what it's what's happening here. Aegis is a multi-dimensional dimensional bug spray. Yeah, that's what I was trying to explain, what the weird guy said. Hans said. It stomps bu bugs dead. Got it. Oh, no. No! I pulled out one of my beard hairs. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Okay. I'll stop. I, I really gotta stop playing with my beard. Okay, so. I guess I'll just go with it stomps bugs dead. Got it. Crudely put, but accurate. We must stop the Universal Brotherhood from summoning a queen, and we must stop them immediately. You are the only one who has been inside their facility, and the only one who has personally fought these creatures before. That, along with your highly effective assault on upon my property, indicates that you are the ideal person to lead the attack. Ah, I'm flattered. Glad you're con convinced because I'm not no one's ever used this magic bug juice before what makes you think this project I guess actually works yeah that, that's a good question what makes you think it works I could just be going into this to die he grins with his red lipstick catches oh yeah his red lipstick catches the light because it has to shut up come on kid when Fate taps you on the shoulder. You've got to pay attention. Unfortunately, she has stopped the nasty habit of tapping you on the opposite shoulder so that when you turn around, it's, she's on your other side, giggling like a deranged schoolgirl. I hate that. What the fuck? He's talking about, you know, when you go up behind somebody and you're over here, and then you tap them on the shoulder there so they look this way, but they're actually that way. Yeah. Yeah. Real funny. Go to hell, Harley Quinn. Okay.
Okay, so it looks like this is just going to be a lot of talking in this episode, but it's good. It's building the game a little more for me. Enough? Are you willing to undergo this mission, bitch scarf? You had me at killing bugs. Show me how to use the I guess, and it's done. I, that's what I'm going to say, because that's pretty good. I'm a professional, and professionals get paid for their work. I assume that serving all mankind involves compensation. That, yeah, maybe I'll say that. My job is to bring a killer to justice, not lead an assault against monsters out of nightmares. I'll say the first one. I'll stick to it. X. Ex Excellent. He claps his hand as if seeing the circus for the first time. I love the way that the short-lived are willing to die even faster. It's very inspirational. Oh god, not this guy. Anybody <laughs> buddy, but this guy. I take it back. I kind of like his mutton chops, but besides that, he talks like an asshole. Brachas raises his hand and Harley Quinn's clapping stops, instantly stops. There is one final note, a warning if you will. You have seen the danger the insects represent, but you have not witnessed the shaman's power. The shaman must tap into a powerful source of magic in order to summon a queen. We do not know what abilities that power source will grant. Beware of the insects, but do not underestimate the shaman. Hey, they just gave me a random ten grand. Cool. Thanks. Hey, don't scare the kid, Hans Hansel. We still need her to go on the mission. By the by, the by I'm coming with you, bitch Garf. I couldn't... I wouldn't mind seeing these creatures for myself. I've missed them last time. Telestrian will bankroll you so you can hire the rest of a team. Find me when you're ready to go, and we'll be right out of here. And we'll, we'll bug right out of here. Okay. Good, good pun, Harley. Yes, speak with Harley Quinn when you are ready to depart. If you wish to acquire additional supplies for your mission, find my assistant, Quaff. He is highly resourceful. Sure. More karma. Okay, so I'm just going to save it right now. Oh, wow, there's a bunch more talking. Oh, it's just going to be all talking. Ugh. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah, this is just... All tonight is just going to be talking, so sorry about that. Anyways, let me save it up so I can get to the next episode. And tonight, I am going to be renting It. I haven't seen It yet. I've seen the original, but I haven't seen the new one. And it's it's now available to rent on... Uh, am I with Bell? I think I'm with Bell. I'm not sure. I think it's Bell. Yeah, it's Bell Vibe. Vibe, sorry, not Vibe. They're just not vibing right. Okay, so, hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, there. And over right. So, yeah. It's going to be more talking, but I have a feeling that we are going to have some crazy fights coming up soon. So, stay tuned, and I'll see you soon. Peace!